morning, everyone. This is Elaine with Annabella's. Welcome back to Floss Tube number 50. I am so very happy that you're here. Today is a day to celebrate. We have reached a milestone of 3,000 subscribers, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it and how happy I am that you choose to come back each week and spend a little bit of time with me on Fridays. If you are new, this channel is primarily about cross stitch and quilting and paper crafting. And if you like what you see today, I hope that you will ring the bell and also become a subscriber. This simply means that you'll get notices whenever I post a new video or I have some good news to share. So welcome. I hope everyone had a phenomenal week. Um, I had a good week. I got in a little bit of stitching, which I'll share with you in just a bit. Um, did a lot of planning for next year. Um, got to spend some time with my gorgeous grandson, Kobe. Um, he is seven weeks old now and weighs in at 14 pounds. So he is a big boy. Um, and I got to babysit him on, on Wednesday. So that was kind of fun. And I have been busy preparing for Christmas um, and for the holidays, as I'm sure all of you have. Um, my sister arrives in town tomorrow. Um, so this might not be a very long video today. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do my winter preview or not. We'll see how it goes uh, between now and the next 20 minutes or so. Um, but I'm very excited that she's here and we're gonna have a big family get together on Sunday and then another family get together on Monday. Uh, we might get some boating in. We're certainly gonna get in a lot of fine dining. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, but Terry is kind of like our chef. Uh, he's a very, very good cook. He's not professionally trained, but he certainly acts like he has been when you sit down and eat some of his meals. So we're going to be eating and, and just really enjoying each other's company and maybe getting in some last minute Christmas shopping. So anyway, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're here. So let's see, what can I show you? Let's start with Elaine's Linen Disaster again. So if you follow me on um, Instagram or on Facebook, then you probably saw the post where I am throwing my latest attempt at linen into the trash can. So it was our December quick stitch. Uh, we do that every month. Um, the quick stitch for this month is January. And we do this so that you can then um, stitch something up really quick and have it to display in your home the following month. So this month we're stitching this so that you can have it up and ready to go the beginning of January. And I decided to go ahead and start mine on linen. Um, seemed to be doing pretty good until I got to the white snowman. And then the pain that I felt was unimaginable. It was just so miserable. I was so unhappy. Um, it was just so unpleasant to, to try to stitch on this piece of fabric when it came to this white snowman that I finally said, that is it. Why do you continue to do this to yourself? Why do you not honor your own motto of being perfectly imperfect? So I don't know why, but I can promise you this, I'm done with linen. So let me just show you why. Um, and it's just my personal preference. I honor and respect all of you that choose to stitch on linen, but I'm gonna just show you why I'm not going to. Um, so this is my linen to start, okay? So I did okay, and then I got to the snowman, and I couldn't draw, I couldn't stitch a straight line to save my life. It was just a mess. And now this is the repeat um, on Ada. Now, do you see the difference between the two? I don't know about you, but I love the way my finished product project looks on this Ada. It's not an FFO, I still have to frame it, but my finished design on Ada, I think is absolutely beautiful. And this does nothing for me. I don't like the way it looks. Um, I, I Even without the snowman, if I just took that away, I don't know. Personal preference is not this. So goodbye, and here we go. So I'm very happy. This is what I love to do. This is what I love to stitch on. Um, there's so many colors now in Ada, so many hand dyed fabrics. And Ada of course comes in different counts. So there you go. This is my quick stitch. It is done. I'm gonna frame it. And although the pattern here um, has little X's in the corners, I've decided to take tiny little white buttons and I'm gonna put a button in each 
uh, corner and I'll show that to you when I'm back uh, after Christmas. Because let me just tell you something, because I don't know if you know this. This is gonna be my last video uh, between now and um, January. Um, I've decided to take, uh, well, next week I, I'm gonna take off because I it's just gonna be too close to Christmas for me. And then the following Friday is Christmas Eve, and the following Friday after that is New Year's Eve. So I'm not gonna um, film on New Year's Eve or on Christmas Eve. So um, I, you know, I'll be back right after that. So whatever the first Friday in January is, I think it's the seventh. Um, I will return um, with floss tube number fifty one. But this will be the final episode um, for 2021. Um, so let me show you some things that came into the shop this week that are new. Um, I know how much you guys enjoy seeing this. There's not a lot, as I said, a lot of the designers are winding it down a little bit as far as Christmas goes. We did get in a few Christmas items, um, and I know they're all prepping um, for March for the big needlework expo um or whatever it's called i don't know what it's called but whatever it is i'll be there it's in nashville <laughs> um so let me show you some things that came in i have a new bracelet on can you hear it it's dingling away where is this pretty little thing i'll show it to you see it says merry christmas it's very cute and it's um i got the little matching necklace which is also dinging um, and I got one for my sister, but don't tell her. It's a surprise. And then I got the earrings. So I'm all dressed up for Christmas because you won't see me until next year. Okay. Let me open this up. Oh, I just destroyed it. Um, this is by Nanny Dadana, and it is um, a country Christmas pillows. So very cute little country Christmas pillows. So that came in. And then Madame Chantilly, this is just precious. This is called Best Wishes. And the small says Happy New Year. And then that is the design. Here's a bigger picture of it. Let me show you that side instead. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. This is a great winter stitch. And I do have a stack here of winter items to share with you in just a bit. If I get through this, I'll flip through them really quick for you. Then we have by Pickle Barrel, uh, I'm not going to take this out. This is called Winter Wonderland, Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Another great stitch coming up for, for um, the winter. Then we have Wait for Snow. This is by uh, Romy, Romina uh, at Romy Creations. Wait for snow, keep calm and wait for snow. I think he's so cute. This has gone in my stash. I just love all things cute. So that little guy's in my stash. Then October House Fiber Arts. This is True Blue. I'm sorry for the glare, but I hope you can see it okay. True Blue. And I think I showed this last week, but let me show it again in case I didn't. I normally go back and look at the previous video before I start filming, but I didn't do that today. So I'm kind of going on memory. This is Real Comfort. It's called a Jane Austen Sampler. This is lovely. Isn't that nice? So this sampler is now available. And then we got um, two new items from A Tiny Modernist. The first one is Santa and Friends. I'm pretty sure I showed this last week, but I'm going to show it again. Look, aren't they so cute? And this um, is Winter Band Sampler, and this is also a great winter stitch. And I have added this to the new category in the Etsy shop called Winter Stitching Ideas. So I'm kind of wrapping up Christmas. Um, I spent a lot of time yesterday at home getting all of my Christmas stitching organized. Um, as you know, starting the third week in January, every uh, third week we're going to have a cross-stitch Christmas week. And during that week, we're only going to stitch cross, uh, Christmas. So that'll be the third week of every month because Christmas always falls on the third week of, of, of December. And um, that's going to be cross-stitch Christmas week. And we're going to use the hashtag uh, X-Stitch Xmas week. 
um, but I'll, I'll share that was as we get closer. So I separated all of the projects that I plan to work on for the next six months so that come June, I'll have a lot of FFOs of Christmas items. And then come June, I'll have six more months to stitch any new designs that the designers come out for Christmas of 2022. So I'm very excited about that. And then I decided which projects that I was working on before I immersed myself in my Christmas stitching, I'm going to pick back up where I left off and finish off. Uh, Remember Me was one. Um, there's a couple samplers in there that I want to finish. Um, flea Market Flowers I want to finish. And they just came out with Flea Market Basket. Or I don't know, Basket? Was it called? Flea Market? basket of flowers. I don't know, but you'll see. It'll be in the Etsy shop today, along with Stitch Card H-I-J-K. So Stitch Card K from Lori Holt will be in the shop, and then the latest um, uh, flea market uh, pattern that they just released will also be in the shop later today. Um, so I, I decided what am I going to stitch, um, you know, that I was working on that I'm going to finish, and then I started to assemble all of the things that I want to stitch during the winter. And of course, winter for all of you, uh, you know, might go until March. Here, we only have a few months where it gets a little bit cool out in South Florida. Um, but I try to honor, you know, winter as the season. So I'll probably stitch quite a bit of winter patterns between now and say March as well. So let me show you um, some of the items that I have selected to put in uh, the shop under winter stitching ideas. Now you may have seen these and you probably have many times before, but I want, I'm gonna take this bracelet off because it's dinging. So I'm gonna show you these uh, simply to give you some ideas of what you might wanna consider um, as you wrap up your Christmas stitching. Um, I'm not gonna take them out of the sleeves because there's an awful lot of them here. I'm just gonna flip through them quickly um, so that you can maybe take some notes. So if you don't have a pad, maybe grab one in case you see something that you like um, and we'll start. And they're not in any random order. So this is Winter Tide Cardinal. Great stitching idea for winter by Artful Offerings. The Blue Flower. Winter Blooms, this is in my stash. I will be stitching this. Then we have Snow Tricks by Little Stitch Girl. Another great winter stitch. Puntini Puntini, When I Think of Winter. And just as a side note, we carry all of her, not all of her designs, but many of her designs, both as charts that I can mail to you and as PDF files that you can download. So if you go to the Etsy shop and you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a category called PDF, and that is where you'll find her PDF uh, designs as well as other designers. Um, but this is one I think of winter. And it does come with the button and the little um, cardinal. Those, the little cardinal and the little button are included. Waxing Moon Designs, January, February, March. Another great winter stitch. Takes you through all three of the main months of winter. Winter's a great time to stitch snowmen. It's always a great time to stitch snowmen. But here are Snowman Trio. Take a sip of coffee. Fairy in the Wood. Fairy Wool in the Wood has a, an adorable design um, that they came out with recently. This is ABC of Winter, and it does include the charm. Then we have Hooray, It's a Snow Day. We don't get snow days, but I don't know. If I, if I did, I would stitch this. This is one of my all-time favorites by Hands On Design. This is called Let It Snow Bungalow, another great stitch for winter. Beautiful on black. Then we have Winter Notes by Shepherd's Bush. This is also in my stash. I hope to stitch this this winter. And there are coordinating buttons. I just don't have them attached here, uh, but they're available in the shop. Then we have Winter Division of Nature by Stony Creek. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. 
Tiny Modernist has a bell pull series, autumn, winter, spring, and summer. This is the winter bell pull. Just look how cute that is. I love the moose. I haven't added this to my stash, but I might I might do that um, because I really would love to just, I have a wall that bell pulls would look perfect on. Um, so maybe I'll just, you know, take this home. And I love the colors. Then here's another bell pull. Uh, this is um, Flowers in Winter. It's a banner. Look at how cute that is. Warm Winter Wishes. These are all Stony Creek. And then here is a Winter Bell Pull by Stony Creek, a little different than the other one. This is Winter's Rest by Calico. Very popular design. Winter Cabin. This is by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is called Snow Sampler. Let me take this out. I'm sorry. It's so hard. It doesn't, just doesn't do it justice. There you go. Snow Sampler. I love this one. I think it's so pretty. This one is another one of my favorites. I believe I pulled this to stitch. I'm not sure. If I didn't, I might still do it. This is Little House Needleworks Winter Band Sampler. I love it. I think it's so pretty for winter. Then we have Winter Fling by Luhu Stitches. Winter Pillow by Manny Dodonna. Winter Joy by Lily Violet. Give Greatly by Silver Creek Samplings, Samplers. Your greatness is not in what you have, but in what you give. I love this. Pansy Patch. This is Peace Winter. And we have all four in this series. Winter, Spring, Summer, Fall. This is Winter. Jeanette Douglas Designs, Cozy into Winter. She also has three others, one for each season in the series, but this is winter. Another great design by Kathy at Hands On Designs for you to stitch up this winter called Let's Talk Winter. Her Let's Talk series is great. She has Let's Talk Winter, Spring, Summer, Fall, and she recently came out with Let's Talk Stitching. Then by Imaginating, we have Winter Season. And again, this is a series. You can also get spring, summer, and fall. This I used to have this in a kit. I don't. They, they're not making the kit right now. Then Happy Everything is all seasons, but I thought I would show it because this is a very, very popular design um, in the shop. And if you haven't seen it before or you're new to the channel, I thought I would point it out to you because it does incorporate all the different seasons, which is why it's Happy Everything. But that's really, look at the snowman. Then we have by Waxing Moon Designs, and probably you'll want to start stitching this sometime in March or April. It's called Enough Winter. I want my flip-flops. And I did buy um, the buttons for you. So the buttons are on each of the flip-flops and they uh, are available at the time of checkout as an option. So you don't have to get them, but if you do, they're available. And I think this is just adorable. So there you go. Then Foxwood Crossings. This is Harrisburg Winter. Aren't those little sleds adorable? And we do carry the mini sleds in the shop. Then Tra La La. I can't read it. It's um, La Forette Enchanty Hiver. I don't know. It looks like something winter. I'm sure it's something winter. Very cute. Almost done. Hands on design. This is called Winter Time. Really love this. And it does include the rickrack for your finishing, as well as the little beads. So you can see the little beads right here. 
Those are included, and then the rickrack to finish it is included. This is just precious. This is by um, Blackberry Lane. This is called Winter Owl, Winter Snow Owl. Look how cute he is. He's very cute. I love the fabric that he's on. What is that? He is on, I don't know, there's a lot of writing back here. It's a little early for all this writing. 32 count linen storm by picture this plus. Storm is the color. Then we have Defining Winter by Erica Michaels. And it says, uh, what does it say? White Holiday Flannel Mittens Evergreen Frosty. And then on the back, winter. The Blue Flower, I just think this is gorgeous. This is called Winter Acorns, and I just love the color scheme. That's Blue Chenille. I don't know if I have it, but if I don't, I'll get it. Winter Acorns. Then heartstring samplers, if you like to stitch uh, little mini fobs, this is um, winter, the winter edition of her festive little fobs. Just adorable. There's some penguins, some mittens, some snowmen, a snow globe, some hot chocolate. There you go. And then here's another great chart by Hands On Design. This is called House on a Hill. And the fabric is included here, but the buttons are not. And you can get those from just another button company or use what is ever in your stash. Oh, another Stony Creek. This is Winter Welcome Sampler. Very nice. Then we have some Prairie Schoolers. This is Winter Wind. Very pretty. Then we have January. And February. I had March. What happened to March? Oh, here it is. And March. So three great designs to stitch up if you love the Prairie Schooler. And then Tempting Tangles. I thought this was so pretty, but I grabbed it for you guys. It is called Winter Garden Party. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. That is Winter Garden Party. And then last but not least are um, three Stony Creek Snowmen of the Month. So they have January. February and March. So there you go. Those are some of the items that I have pulled together for you and stuck in the shop under winter stitching ideas, just to give you some ideas of things that you might wanna, you know, start or think about starting as you wind up your Christmas. Okay, we have lots of surprises to give away today. I'm excited to share those with you. Before I do, let me just tell you that um, last week's winners answered the question, um, do you decorate the outside of your home for Christmas? So if you haven't, go back and read all the responses under floss tube number 49. And if you your name is called, um, you need to do a couple of things. You need to make sure you have subscribed to my channel. You have to make sure that you've liked the video. You have to be over the age of 18 and you have to send me an email to info at annabellas.net and then I can send out your happy mail. And for this episode, episode 49, you're just gonna get a surprise, which is something I've been doing for the past month or so. Um, rather than show you the design um, and the chart that you're gonna get, I kind of surprise you with a care package and you find all kinds of goodies in there plus uh, a chart I pick out for you. So the winners are Crafty Mom, Linda Van Ostel, Mary Keenan, and Joyce Andrews. So congratulations, ladies. I'm very, very happy that you will get some happy mail. Um, and then next week, 
we are going to do something a little different. I'm going to go back to showing you everything that I'm going to be, that you're going to be giving me the number for, because, um, let me put this in here. I have to put it in the right number, number seven. Hold on. Four, five, six, seven. Um, because we have 3,000 subscribers, we're going to do a big giveaway today. So I'm going to show you the chart, tell you what number it is. You're going to answer the question, what is your favorite family Christmas tradition? What is your favorite family Christmas tradition? So answer the question and then don't say free, don't say giveaway, just say number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, whatever number of chart that you like. Uh, and you can put more than one. Um, and then if your name is selected by our YouTube random comment picker um, next week, uh, or actually it'll be on January 7th is when we will be announcing the winners for today because we won't be back um, until then. So um, just make sure that you let me know what chart you like. So here we go. This is Christmas Eve, number one. This is by Cottage Garden Samplings. Then we have number two. This is by Pansy Patch and it's called Trimming the Tree. Number two, Trimming the Tree. Number three is by Rovaris. It's called Welcome. Nice pillow. It doesn't really do it justice, but there you go. Number four and number five is Pinewood Farms. Number four and number five, Pinewood Farm. And this is part of the Farmhouse Christmas series by Little House Needleworks. Number five is Hot Cocoa by Shannon Christine. Number six is Hot Cocoa Season by Twin Peak Primitives. Number seven is Winter's Rest, which I showed you earlier. This is by Calico Confectionery. Number eight is Christmas House by Keb Studio Creations, or KEB. This was our quick stitch for December, which I'm almost done with. I'll show it to you when we get back. Then number nine, we have two of these. This is Christmas Morning at Santa's Kitchen by Twin Peak Primitives. Very, very popular this year. It's a new release and very popular in the shop. So I'm going to be giving two of these away. And then last but not least, number 10 is Christmas Snowflake by Happiness is Heart Made. So there you go. I hope you like those charts and I hope you win. So good luck. All right, um, I guess that's it for today. Um, we're going to spend the next few weeks, like I said, just enjoying family. And I think we might go to our house, um, you know, in North Carolina, maybe for New Year. We're, we're still talking about it because we have little baby Emily and I don't know how well she'll travel. So we're not sure yet. Um, but I just want to tell you how much I appreciate everything that you do for me and for my family by choosing to shop with me in our, in our little Etsy shop and for sharing this channel with your friends um, I really appreciate it. And um, over the next few weeks, I will be um, on Instagram with some reels and some stories. So I still will be on tape, on video, um, but it will be on Instagram and on Facebook. So be sure to connect with me below if you so choose um, so that we can stay connected over the next few weeks. And I hope that you and your family have a wonderful Christmas, uh, a happy Hanukkah, uh, whatever you celebrate, I hope you get to spend a lot of time doing the things you love with the people you love the most. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next year. Bye.